in, in, in the CAR T space, efficacy and the safety are always a good balance. Um, um, in this case, uh, you know, we are taking multiple approaches. From the research side, we try to uh, engineer our car in the way that uh, we are not uh, fast activating immune cells. Um, um, we have incorporated a, um, a differentiated manufacturing process. Conventionally, the approved drug or use IL-2 to manufacturing expanding CAR T cells. But in our case, we, we use a different set of cytokine, which may, may slowly activate immune cells and keep the immune cells in the early phenotype. Um, so once we inject the slowly expanding and uh, try to avoid a quick, fast activation of CAR T cells cause cytokine related syndrome. Um, on the clinical side, we we have our first program entered into investigator initiated trial, um, and our clinical PI um, have a set a set aside a protocol um, to preconditioning the patient to suppress their immune system, and they try to also you know managing on um, the uh, cytokine release syndrome from patient side. Of course, right now. Uh, with the more and more clinical experience, the, the doctors uh, have a set of standard protocol to, you know, taking care of the cytokine release syndrome if there is any, um, and most often used antibodies, anti-IL-6 antibody, uh, to to managing the cytokine release syndrome. Yeah.